came down to Oceanside so I could skateboard and surf with the DJI Action 4, it started raining on me. This is not at all in the weather forecast. Let's go back to the studio. We'll sit at the desk. And we'll talk more about the DJI Action 4. Oh, this thing is good. Freaking rain. About a month ago, I made a video comparing the DJI Osmo Action 3 to the GoPro Hero 11. And the very next day, I got an email from DJI and they said, we, uh, we have something to show you. And it's this, the DJI Osmo Action 4. One year later, DJI is coming out with the next iteration of their camera and it's real good. I've been testing this thing out for the past few weeks, just putting it through its paces, battery testing it, heat testing it, freeze testing it, doing everything that I could to just push this camera to the limits. And it, it held up pretty, pretty well. We'll talk more about the results as we go through the video. But by the end of this video, you will know everything that is new on the DJI Osmo Action 4. This video is sponsored by DJI, so this isn't like a critical review about this camera. It's more of an introduction to the camera, all the new features, everything, everything that is new on the DJI Osmo Action 4. And if you are wondering how the Action 4 stacks up against its main competitor, the GoPro Hero 11, I will have a video in a couple of days comparing these two cameras. Not sponsored by DJI or GoPro, it will just be a, a very critical look at both cameras and uh, yeah, just how they stack up against each other. Today's video, everything new about this camera, in a couple of days, that video, these two cameras head to head. Make sure you are subscribed and you have rung the bell so you get you get notified when, when that video comes out. Okay, everything that is new about the DJI Action 4 from the DJI Action 3. Physically, I mean physically they're like, physically they are almost identical. I don't I don't think that there's a whole lot to say about them physically. The, the Action 4 is a little darker. The accents on the Action 4 are now red instead of orange on the Action 3, but uh, other than that, physically, they are almost identical. Same 2.25 inch touchscreen on the back, same 1.4 inch touchscreen on the front. We've got the microphone up top. They they changed the grill design. So the grill, they changed the grill design a little bit on the four, but, but same microphone up top. And then on the front there, in the name badge, we still have those two microphones giving us stereo audio and the color temperature sensor cleverly hidden inside of the O. When they did that on the Action 3, I, I was very, very impressed that they used their own name to hide the color temperature sensor. <laughs> on this side here, we still have that quick switch button on there, which is my favorite camera button on, on any camera ever. It's basically a button where I can set up all sorts of different custom modes, and maybe I have a 4K 24, 4K 60, a 4K 120, maybe I wanna have a photo mode or a hyperlapse mode. I can customize certain modes that I know I'm gonna use a lot with one button just be able to cycle through those modes and quickly change all the settings of the camera to go into that mode. I think the biggest difference physically is actually is actually right here. You can see the lens on the Action 4 is actually a little larger than the lens on the Action 3, even though they are both f2.8 lenses. Now, why? Why is that larger? It's because on this new camera, we have a larger sensor. This guy had a one over 1.7 inch sensor, and now the Osmo Action 4 has a one over 1.3 inch sensor, which, oh. Bigger sensors mean higher quality images and better low light performance. We'll talk more about low light in a second here, but check out this shot from the Action 4 in a totally dark parking garage that normally would look pretty terrible on any other action camera, but this guy, ah, it's looking pretty dang good. We'll get back to low light performance in a minute here, but because we have a larger lens on there, that does mean that these new lens covers are a different thread size than the Osmo Action 3. So if you have lens covers, or maybe you have filters for the Osmo Action 3, you have ND filters or CPL filters, any sort of cover that you have for that one, it will not screw on to the Osmo Action 4. So your old lens covers will not fit onto the Action 4, but your old batteries will. We're using the same exact 1770 milliamp battery, and this thing uh, is giving us about the same performance on the new camera as well. Maxing out at what they say 160 minutes, but but 160 minutes is in like lab conditions. So on both of these cameras with both screens on, which is how I shoot them at 24 frames a second and about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, I see about 110 to 115 minutes on one battery. But because we have that same battery and that same triple charger, we can fast charge these batteries.
batteries from zero to 80% in 18 minutes, and then you get 100%, it takes us 50 minutes. So 50 minutes from zero to 100, but 18 minutes from zero to 80%. And again, they say you're gonna get about 120 minutes out of that. I've been getting about 100 minutes with an 18 minute charge. I don't know how they do fast charging these days, but I'm real happy they do. Next up, you might be asking, can you get this thing to overheat? How does it do in the heat? And how does it do in the cold? I saw almost identical performance with this camera and the Osmo Action 3. I was never able to get it to overheat in 4K 24, 4K 60, 4K 120. It never overheated. I would always have a battery die. And then also just as reliable as this guy in freezing temperatures. That was a big problem that I've had with action cameras in the past is you go snowboarding, you go do something in cold weather and your dang action camera will not turn on but I've, I've never had that issue with the Osmo Action 3 or Osmo Action 4 both of them I've put into the freezer I've turned the freezer down as cold as it goes and they they both just work fine then as for waterproof ability the Osmo Action 3 was waterproof down to 16 meters and now the Osmo Action 4 is waterproof down to 18 meters or 60 feet and of course on the bottom there we still have DJI's magnetic mounting system which is it's just the best in the game right now. If you look at the, from the Osmo Action 3 to 4, you can see it kind of changed up. They used to have like a little rubber bit on here with DJI logo, and now it's just nice and smooth on the Osmo Action 4. But that same, just super quick, really easy lock-in magnetic system, squeeze the tabs, pop it off, lock it back on. Um, yeah, I don't, I mean, if you guys haven't used this system yet, you got to try it like it's such a game changer to be able to have that and be able to just flip quickly between your different mounts without having to worry about thumb screws without having to worry about the time it takes to switch mounts because I think a lot of times I in the past have not switched my camera angle even though I should have because I just thought like I don't want to have to unthumb screw that one switch it to this thing just for one quick shot and unthumb screw it put it back on the main mount for the next shot. It's even rugged and like secure enough that I go surf with this thing on the nose of my board, just on a magnetic mount. I was very nervous the first time I did it because I thought to myself like, wow, is this gonna hold in like big surf? But I've taken it out there a ton, the Osmo Action 3 and now the Osmo Action 4, and that magnetic mount works perfect. And now jumping onto the footage from the Osmo Action 4, and again, a larger sensor in there, that one over 1.3 inch sensor, but also we now have 10-bit recording in all modes. So if you're shooting an HEVC codec, you can shoot in normal mode or you can shoot in D-Log and you will record 10-bit footage out of this camera. And side by side with the Action 3, you can see how much of a difference there is jumping from a one over 1.7 inch sensor and eight bit recording to a one over 1.3 inch sensor and 10 bit recording. All right, here is the DJI Action 3 versus Action 4. You can see that with that larger sensor, there's way more detail in the image. Overall, just image quality is going to jump. Having that larger sensor on there, you can just see between the Action 3, I thought was already looking awesome, but now, now man, with the Action 4, even on this little tiny screen, I can see like, that looks really good. Again, if you want to see the comparison between the Osmo Action 4 and GoPro Hero 11 footage uh, in a couple of days, check that video. Or maybe you're watching this a couple of days later and that video is already live on the channel. If it is, click up there and I'll, I'll link it. Also on footage, we still have that super wide field of view at 155 degrees. We still have 4K 120 frames a second on this camera. And we have a new setting called image adjustment where I can go in there and I can customize the sharp Sharpening, and I can customize the noise reduction in my image. So there's two presets. There is a default preset and a portrait preset. But if I tap on custom, we have low, medium, and high sharpness, and we have low, medium, and high noise reduction. So you can completely take control of your image and customize that all in. I've just been using the default preset, and honestly, it's looked pretty good. And lastly, in our settings here, we have a new low light image adjustment mode that you can set to off or auto. And when it's in auto, it says, when enabled, camera will detect low light environment automatically and reduce noise. Only available for 30 frames a second or lower frame rate. And it's not available in ultra wide field of view for some reason. So you have to be in wide field of view or more narrow, and you have to be in 30 frames a second or lower. So 30 frames a second, 25 or 24 frames per second. But when enabled, that will automatically shoot to a, a low light scenario. The camera knows to stabilize and to adjust the noise reduction to a low light shot, just cleaning up your shot automatically in camera. I had the Osmo Action 3 and the Osmo Action 4 on a pole together and I went skateboarding into an underground parking lot. So super low light, like 
kind of ridiculously low light. And you can see how much better that image looks on the Osmo Action 4 over the Osmo Action 3. It's a huge jump to, to one, have a larger sensor, but then to add in that low light image adjustment automatically, the camera knows like I'm in low light, so do your magic to make the image look as good as possible while it's dark. And I would say that that was an extreme low light scenario. And that is everything new with the camera itself. As for price, this camera alone is gonna run you $369. And then for the adventure combo, which I think, I think everyone should get the adventure combo. I think if you're getting this camera, you should get the adventure combo. It comes with the stick. It comes with the, the triple charger. Oh, both camera and the adventure combo both come with the cage, so you can do vertical mounting. But for $100 more, you, you get the handle, you get three batteries total instead of just one battery, you get three batteries, you get the triple charge case, you get the cage, you get an additional action mount, so you can put it on something like a bite mount. You have a bite mount and you can have your pull for $469. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on the DJI Osmo Action 4. Again, ring that bell so you see when the comparison video comes, and I will see you soon. All right, come up and say hi. Hi, my name is Tim Eleanor. <laughs> my name's so oh, Penny's coming. This Penny, she's she's a great one. She's a what? This is Penny. This is Sometimes Penny. she reminds me of a lot, but this is Penny. What is this, Daddy? Oh, these are batteries. Look, you open it up. This Look. one. It, it this, charges three batteries at once. One. Oh, that's the DJI Action 3. Oh. oh. So, D, so and this one right here is, is the new battery. one, the DJI Action and 4. This, oh, it oh. has batteries so, inside here. Should we, hey, should we go on the swings and play on the swings and you guys can, we can film you with the cameras? Yeah. Get out of here, turkeys. Let's go. Let's go, turkeys. You're done. Let's go. You're done. You're done. Oh, my God.